Okay, in the last video, we introduced the concept of loan amortization and we created an amortization schedule for a case where we were paying the same amount of principal every year, but the amount of interest was varying. Now, we'll take a look at the same case, but over here, we'll only be making a single fixed payment every year. Let's look at the problem now. It's given that you borrowed $10,000 again from a bank and you need to repay it in five years. You need to pay a single fixed payment each year so that the full loan is paid off along with interest in five years. This is the difference, a single fixed payment. We need to cre create an amortization schedule for the same and the interest rate is given as well. So first, let's chart out its timeline. So you're borrowing this $10,000 obviously in the present. So let's call that year zero. And where you borrow $10,000, now you need to start paying this loan back from year one and you do that till year five and after making the payment in year five you should have completely paid off the loan along with interest so you can only make a single fixed payment in each case all of them have to be equal and let's assume that value to be c so you make a payment c in year one c in year two c in year three c in year four and c in year five so we actually need to figure out this c or the amount of money that we actually need to pay such that this loan is paid off in five years. Now take a look at this first. We are talking about making equal payments over regular intervals for a limited number of periods, which in this case is equal to five. This is actually an example of an, you guess it right, example of an annuity, right? Now we need to figure out the value of this C, which we can easily do using the present value of an annuity formula. You actually don't need to figure out the present value of this annuity because that is equal to the amount that you're borrowing, which is just $10,000, right? And you're given the interest rate as well. You're given the number of periods, which is equal to five. You only need to figure out this C or the payment that you're making every year such that this loan is paid off by full in five years. So let's go ahead and do the math now. Again, the present value is $10,000. It's already given and we need to figure out the C. And R is 10%, which is just 0.1. So that's going to be 0.1 minus 1 by 0.1 into 1 plus 0.1 raised to the power number of periods, which is just equal to 5. And you do the math, and the single fixed payment comes out to be equal to $2,637.97 dollars. This is the single fixed payment we need to make in order to completely pay back the loan in five years. So you pay this five times and you'll be paying off your loan along with interest. Now we can verify this by creating an amortization schedule. So let's just go ahead and do that. Hopefully you've seen the last video where I've created an amortization schedule from scratch. In this one, the process will be slightly different because the total payments are going to be the same for all the five years, but the interest paid and the principal paid are going to be varying. Okay, so let's start off with the interest paid. It's just going to be 10% of whatever the beginning balance is, as we seen in the last video. So that's again just going to be 0.1 into 10,000 or equal to a thousand dollars. Now it gets interesting when you have to figure out the principal paid. You have the total payment, you have the interest paid as well, right? So all you got to do is you got to subtract the interest paid from the total payment or it's going to be 2637.97 minus $1,000 and you will do that and you're going to get 1637.97. Now, again, to figure out the ending balance, as we've seen in the last video, you got to subtract the principal paid from the beginning balance and that turns out to be equal to $8,362.03. Now you can go ahead and fill up the rest of the table as an exercise. I've already done that for you. Now, you can check the ending balance in fifth year, which is equal to $1.32. It should actually be zero, but it's because of rounding errors on my part. Uh, but if you are diligent with your calculation, it will come out to be zero. I can promise you that. And the principal paid in total will also come out to be equal to $10,000. But anyway, that proves the point that the payment equal to $2,637.97, which we calculated using the present value of an annuity formula. If you pay this five times, it actually pays off our loan in full along with interest. One more interesting thing that you can note 
is that the interest paid actually keeps on decreasing as you move on from year to year but the principal paid keeps on increasing this is bound to happen because your load balance keeps on decreasing as well anyway hope you got around that and i'll see you in the next one